Hey everyone, it's Craig Anderson from CraigAndersonPhotography.com and welcome to another one of my Lightroom tutorials. Today we're going to be looking at a single image HDR, a high dynamic range, and uh, how we would develop a photograph for HDR type effect without trying to merge three different exposures. So I've got here a fantastic photograph from the uh, top of the Rockefeller Center in, in Manhattan, looking down at uh, Lower Manhattan and the Empire State Building. I've uh, got some great clouds in the sky. You can see on the horizon a little bit of smog which is catching the, the sunset, uh, but there's quite a bit of darkness as you can see shadows in the city itself. Uh, and so with the HDR effect what we're going to try and do is bring out the colors in the sky and raise the, the the exposure in the in the city itself so uh, let's go ahead and have a look so first we're going to head off into the develop module and you'll see on the right hand side all the uh, develop module settings will come up and the first thing we're going to have a look at and the first thing I really like to have a look at is the cropping so again we have a very uh, straight horizon in the background so we'll go into the cropping get the angle tool and I will just drag across and uh, let's see how we can go looking like that so it's looking pretty good so I will say done and uh, now we can start going into having a look at the, the different settings that we're going to use to bring out the colors, the vibrance, and the detail in the shadows. So the first thing I'm going to look at, uh, the temperature and the, uh, the tint. I actually like it as it is, um, so I'm not going to play with those too much. I may come back to those at the end of it, but right uh, at the beginning, I think the temperature and everything in camera is looking good. It is an afternoon and it kind of looks like an afternoon, so let's not uh, uh, play around with that too much. So the next thing I'm going to go down to is the exposure and I just want to bring the exposure up slightly, so I'm probably going to bring it up half a stop uh, and you can already start to see some of the detail in the shadows coming out. Uh, and you look at the histogram up in the top right hand corner and you'll see I've got no clipping of highlights or shadows, uh, which means I've got all the information I need in this photograph uh, to allow me to do some good editing. So the uh, contrast I'm probably going to leave for now because uh, with an HDR type effect, uh, we're going to use uh, some of the other features within Lightroom to pull out the contrast and as we go through. So when you want to do HDR, the first thing we're going to do is we've got to pull down our highlights and push up our shadows. So we want to try get it uh, so that it, it does look like it is three blended photographs. So the first thing we're going to do is take our highlight slider all the way down. Uh, and you can see we start to pull out some more detail in the sky. And the same thing with the shadows, but this time I'm going to push it all the way up. So now you can see quite a difference in the photograph between what we had before and, and what we got now. Uh, lots of details coming out, but it probably looks a little bit anemic uh, and, and we're not getting enough enough color in it. So uh, we'll, we'll carry on editing it and, and see what we can get. The whites, I'm not gonna touch too much. Uh, I can see I've got my whites where they are. I don't think I particularly wanna make them any brighter than that, but I do wanna bring out some uh, blacks so this is where I start to work on the contrast and I'm probably going to just pull it down to about let's see if we can get it to minus 75 and already you start to see a lot of contrast coming out uh, but it is the contrast is down in the darker areas so we're not really touching the sky it is just really in the city where we are touching uh, the touching the, the shadows so then we go down to our clarity and this when you're going to do HDR type effect this is where the most of your grunginess comes in and so I'm going to actually drag my clarity slider all the way up to 100 and now we can see a lot of contrast coming into this this photograph uh, but it is very reminiscent of what you would get in an HDR type photo. I'm also going to push the vibrance up because I want lots of punchy color and I can actually pull this one all the way up. Let's try around about 40 for the vibrance. 
uh, having a bit of trouble, 41, it'll do. So you can start to see the sky has got a beautiful blue. We're starting to get the orange of the sunset on the horizon. And we're still pulling out the colors of all the different buildings that we go. But again, because it's HDR type effect that I'm going for, I'm going to use the saturation slider. And I'm actually going to push it up to pull out those colors a little bit more. So let's just push it up. Not too much. Just to probably around about 10 if we can get it there. 10 or 11. 11 will be fine. So now we've got some really good color coming on the uh, the right hand side here. You can see that where, is where the sun was setting from this side. But I've got the beautiful blue sky with clouds and I've got a lot of detail into my uh, into my photograph as we go along. So let's go have a look. I'm not going to use the tone curve so I can close that one up. Going into the detail section, the sharpening. Again, because HDR effect is what I'm looking for, I'm actually going to pull my sharpening right up around about 100. So once you get it to 100, it starts to pull out the details, makes it a lot clearer on the photograph itself. But you will also notice, see here in the 100% blow up on this right hand side, we're starting to get a lot of, a lot of graininess. So I'm going to go down to the noise reduction. And I tend to do this on all my photographs, no matter what ISO I was using. I'm going to just pull it up to around about 30. So if I go back up to the 100% detail, it's smoothed out the graininess for me to some extent. So I'm really starting to like this photograph. If I use the backslash key just to have a look, this is what it looks like now. That's what it looked like before. So there is a significant difference between the two photographs. And I think that one is looking so much nicer. So we'll go down a little bit for, uh, further. We will take the lens correction. Again, because I'm taking this with a Canon lens, I know that the profile is loaded. So I can just enable the profile and it will uh, fix perspective for me, fix a little bit of the distortion, and I can remove chromatic aberration if I want to as well. And then finally going down to the effects with this type of photograph, I'm also going to apply some vignetting at the corners. I just want to darken it slightly, so I might take it down. Let's leave it at minus 15. Now having a look at this again, I'm not happy with the overall cropping. I've got some bright colors down here on the left hand side, which are a little bit distracting. So I'm just going to go back into the cropping and use my angle tool but this time I'm actually going to try and work on the building in the foreground here because I know that that's what you want to get straight and that's looking good I might just turn that slightly over there and I'm gonna drag this in so that I get rid of that so done and there I have an HDR looking photograph that I've taken uh, that's probably still not the best angle to go at. Let's pop it back that way. Let's say done. There we go, that looks a lot better. This building here is a lot straighter. And that's where my eye is being pulled. So there we have it. Again, let's take a look at the before. A very dull looking photograph. Not a lot of detail in the city itself. But I know I've got some, some good composition, some good clouds in the sky, and I know I've got the color on the horizon. So once you've finished editing it, that's what you get. And there is the Manhattan skyline at sunset. Thanks for watching everyone. Craig Anderson from CraigAndersonPhotography.com. See you next time.